badly. A 36-year-old man on Long Island attacked a 15-year-old who had picked up a baseball that ended up at a skate park next to the ball field. That attack happened 10 days ago. The boy's mother now releasing the video and talking to Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager. She's live in Greenlawn with the latest. What a scene out there, Stacey. Well, Bill, certain grown-ups behaving badly for sure. Now one of them is facing criminal charges. Just so you understand the layout of this park, this is where the kids, they go on their skateboards and their bicycles. But over here, right over here is the field. This is where the baseball teams, they play, and balls can certainly go flying. And in this case, so did the tempers of the grown-ups. Why is it okay for adults to not behave like adults? A question Terry Lipton has been asking ever since this happened on May 21st. The guys in the baseball uniforms, they are the adults. Her son Trent, only 15 and doing what he loves in this green lawn skate park. When suddenly balls from the adjacent baseball field started flying in. A good five balls had landed in the skate park. Something that's been a hazard for skateboarders and riders like Trent, and so he says on that day, one ball almost hit me in the head, landed pretty much right in front of me, so I picked it up. He didn't put the ball in his pocket to be like, oh, I'm going to mess with some, some adults today. That wasn't his intent. His intent? To keep doing bike tricks safely. But then the group of grown men showed up. Slapped him in the face. Where's my effing ball? No, whoa, 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 he's a teenager. He's a minor, he's a minor. There was no, hey, kid, can I have the ball? No problem. Instead, this video showing the man in the number 16 jersey, Andrew Chiaro of Massapequa, pulling Trent by the neck, trying to throw him on the ground and actually throwing his friend's bike. Authorities now say Chiaro faces criminal charges for assault and child endangerment. If they had came up before and just asked, just give the ball back and this can all be over, but that never happened. They immediately came out of the dugout, started cursing at me. While he looks older because of his height, remember, Trent is a ninth grader. He cried for 30 minutes. Just, just sobbed. And she wants an internal affairs investigation since it took so much convincing to press charges. Police telling her son. We were the same size as him and, you know, if we charge him with harassment, then you're just going to get slapped with robbery. Chiaro's team, meanwhile, now banned from playing in the town of Huntington. And he's been suspended for 10 games. We will never condone, condone any kind of violence in our parks. Uh, we'll crack down immediately anytime anything like that is developing. Yeah, and the town of Huntington also plans to now add more caging or mesh to try to prevent this problem of flying balls uh, heading into this skate park in the future. As for Chiaro, well, authorities in Nassau County, the Nassau County District Attorney's Office, they tell us he has a criminal record there dating back years. 2008, he faced a felony weapons charges and was sentenced to two years. But in this case, it's misdemeanor charges, and Chiaro is due back in court on June 14th. We're live in Green Lawn. I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.